chocolate covered strawberries are so good. Not only can they be made for Valentine's Day, but can be enjoyed all year round and make the perfect gift. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the best chocolate covered strawberries I know you will enjoy. Welcome back to my channel. Now let's jump right into making these delicious chocolate covered strawberries. So you're going to need some strawberries properly washed and patted dry, some white chocolate, I have a little bit of coconut oil, a few small cupcake liners, some red and gold sanding sugar, and that's optional. You can use glitter also, as well as some food coloring. I also have two different types of bag. So I have the Ziploc bag. You can use that or you can use the piping bag also. Either one will work and I'll be using both of them to see which one I prefer. As well as I have some milk chocolate. Now I have a tray and that has parchment paper on it. You can use wax paper also. So because this is my first time attempting to do chocolate covered strawberries, I'm going to use the toothpick because the toothpick is going to definitely help me whenever it's time for me to dip the strawberries in in the chocolate sauce. So for beginners, if you want a little bit of help, just use some toothpicks because that will definitely help you, okay? So now that I'm through prepping all the strawberries, it's time for me to prepare the chocolate. And I'm using a half a teaspoon of coconut oil. And the reason why I'm using the coconut oil is because number one, it's going to give the chocolate that sheen. And number two, it loosens up the chocolate when it's melted. It makes it more fluid. Now you can get your chocolate in your baking section. And that's what I did. I'm using the milk chocolate flavored candy wafers and the white chocolate flavored candy wafers. And I'm sure you can get any other type of chocolate in your baking section. And you just follow the instruction on the pack. So after I'm finished combining all of the oil on the chocolate, I'm going to put them in the microwave. Now this is what it looks like for the first 30 seconds. And then as you can tell, it still has a little bit of lump in it. I'm going to put it back for another 20 seconds. And this is what it looks like. You do not want to put it in there for too long because you can end up burning the chocolate. So this is perfect. Now we are ready to dip all our strawberries. You want to make sure you try and gather all the leaves like I'm trying to do. And this is where the toothpick comes in handy. And then you just dip and you twirl. If you want to leave a little space at the top to show some of the red color, you can. If you want to dunk everything in it, you can also. Whichever way you do it, there's no wrong way. One suggestion I have for you, if you have a shot glass, that would make it so much easier. All you have to do is just dip and take it out. That's all you have to do. Now when you're pulling it out from the bowl or whatever it is, always make sure you get the excess off and you can do that just by what I did, just um, sliding it across the edge of the bowl or whatever container you're using. And then you just repeat the process. And now we're going to do the same thing you did for the milk chocolate for the white chocolate. If you realize when you take it out of the microwave and it still has a little bit of lump in it, you do not have to put it back in. All you can do is stir just like what I'm doing because the plate is hot, the liquid is hot, so it will eventually melt. And we're going to repeat the same steps as we did with the milk chocolate covered strawberries. You're going to dip it, twirl it, and cover it to the amount of strawberry you want to be covered with the white chocolate. And then if you have excess, you scrape it along the edge of the bowl and then put it on your tray with either parchment paper or wax paper. Now to get the chocolate hard, you can put it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes or you can leave it out to air dry. If you're going to be very creative with designs, then you might want to put it in the refrigerator for at least half, half an hour. To all the couples out there, I know that Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So instead of going out and buying all that expensive chocolate covered strawberry, you can do this in the comfort of your home with all different type of decoration, whether it's crushed nuts or sprinkles or different color, you name it. And this will cost you less than $10. 
Now, if you want to be a little bit more creative and add some designs to it, then by all means. So I'm using the piping bag and this is a Ziploc bag I'm going to be using to show you all. So I insert the piping bag in the glass just to make sure that there's not too much mess with the chocolate when I'm pouring it in. See how nice and clean that was? No mess. And then what you're going to do is just remove it from the glass and give it a twirl to make sure that your chocolate is all the way down to the bottom of the piping bag. Just like that. Now you're going to want to twirl your piping bag as tight as possible because the tighter it is, the better it is going to be for you to handle when you're piping your decoration on your chocolate covered strawberry. Now you're going to just snip a little hole, a tiny one, at the bottom of the piping bag and then you test it to make sure that it's not too small and just like that is perfect. Now go ahead and make some creative designs. It's very simple and as you can see I am not gifted in that department. I'm sure yours is going to be much better than mine but it's a thought that counts and at the same time you're saving money. So either way it's a win-win. I should also point out that before you start putting your designs on your strawberries you need to rest them in the refrigerator for at least half an hour or until the chocolate has hardened. Now if you're going to use crushed nuts when it's wet is the time for you to coat your strawberries with the nuts. Here I'm just adding some red sand and sugar to the wet design. So you want to add it when it's wet in this case. Remember I'd mentioned that I was going to try it with both bags. So let's see how this one works. I think I prefer working with the piping bag. It's much more easier to handle. This is a little bit harder to twirl and to control. Now I have to figure out which end to snip. But then again, I guess it doesn't really matter because as long as we're getting the chocolate out of it and it can do the job, that's all that matters. So right here, we're going to do the same thing that we did with the previous chocolate covered strawberries. You can be as creative as you please. And I'm making a mess, but guess what? It's the thought that counts, right? I should also point out that the chocolate that I'm using to create the designs was actually the leftover chocolate that I had used to dip the strawberries in. Now, if you want to do a different types of design with different color combination, all you have to do is to gather whatever leftover chocolate you have and then add them together just like what I'm doing and then you'll be able to create cool designs. If you have food coloring, I didn't have red so I used the pink. Now in this case it must be oil based or else the chocolate will become a little bit lumpy so always use oil based food coloring if you're going to try it that way. Now just like what I'm doing, you're just going to dip and twirl and then you'll have something totally different and you can be as creative as you want to. Look how beautiful that is. So if you're thinking of making these delicious chocolate covered strawberries for someone special or if you want to treat yourself, just give it a try. You won't be disappointed because they're so easy to do and you can't go wrong with them. You'll be so proud of yourself in the end. Just take a look. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it turned out. Leave your comments in the comment box. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss next week's video. What good? Till we see you next time, alright?